Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part two of my how to journal choosing a writing instrument. Um, the first video got a little too long, so I had to cut it off at some point, but I wanted to cover the second part of it of choosing the perfect writing instrument for journaling. So make sure to watch the first part, which I will link below, and I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, so in the last video, I did cut off with kind of like all of your basic, very accessible drugstore kind of writing tools. And then now I'm going to talk about kind of pencils. I know not everybody likes to necessarily write with pencils or journal with pencils, but there is definitely a really nice, nostalgic, very basic feel with writing pencil, writing with pencils. Um, there are so many. There's even a store, CW Pencils, that has opened up for people that just love pencils. And it sells all kinds of um, very retro style ones and um, reproductions of uh, pencils that they used to make and that used to be very popular. So I wanted to kind of cover that today because it seems to be kind of coming back in popularity. And there are, you know, pencils for different needs. So if you are not necessarily into writing with a pencil, you know, not everybody writes in their journals. Some people actually draw, some people illustrate their memories. So that's why I kind of wanted to mention that. If you're into kind of like, um, you know, eco-friendly options, I got these in a mustache stationery box and I thought it was a really cool idea. This is by Sprout and they are implanted with different seeds. And so if you are looking to get pencils as a gift for somebody who loves to journal um, or you just like the idea of having something that's disposable but still great for the environment and you still get something out of it, these are a great option. So like I said, they're from Sprout and they're implanted with seeds. So once you get it down to like maybe about here, what you can do is just stick it into a plant um, green tip down and then it just starts growing with whatever plants are implanted in there. So this is mint, cilantro, and basil. And I thought that was a really, really fun idea. So that's a kind of eco-friendly option for pencils if you wanna use those in your journal. Um, if you are into drawing, if you illustrate, if you just love capturing memories by doodling, ink tense pencils are great because these are actually um, ink based, uh, kind of like watercolor pencils, but they have a more saturated color, which is really nice. You can get these in all sorts of different size packs, or if you go to a fine art store, you can usually buy these a la carte. Um, I have the Derwent ones, and these are just lovely. You can, they're eco-friendly, obviously, because they're just pencils. And then you can just take a brush pen and just go over it with um, a brush of water, and you get this kind of watercolor effect. And same goes with this. This is the General Sketch and Wash. So it kind of comes off, it looks like just a regular pencil, but then when you go over it with a little water, you kind of get this cool black watercolor, almost charcoal-y feel, like you just you know went over it with some cool shading. And um, But you can use this pencil as just a regular pencil too, which is, I think, a really fun idea for anybody who likes art. And then my favorite just basic pencils for drawing and doing um, like cool floor plan sketches are the Stadler pencils. Um, these come in different lead weights. So 6B, I just pulled that out of my um, pencil case as kind of an example, but you can get soft leads, hard leads in these and um, that will kind of really determine the really cool feel of your page by um, how the pencil lead comes off on the paper. Um, I pulled these out just because um, I like the look of them. These are really cool. This is from Moleskin. I think you get them in a pack of two and it actually comes with, let me see, I think I have one with a cap on. Yes. So this is what it looks like in the pack. 
and they're flat like that like a construction pencil like this one and these come with one cap on it it doesn't really stay on the pencil very much so I mean I would worry about if you were clipping this onto a moleskin notebook or a journal this would fall out very easily but the concept is nice and um, you can get a sharpener specifically for these kind of flat square rectangle pencils these kind of have that very masculine chic look so if um, a significant other really is not into the frilly fussy kind of you know Hello Kitty stuff or cutesy stationary pens or pencils these are really great just because they're just kind of neutral but they look really nice and um, these are the black angle England patterned medium pencils same idea same concept um, they double as obviously construction pencils for anybody who uses them in their workshops for projects but um, these are they just look really cool and I like that these are just kind of gender neutral and you don't have to worry about them moving around on your desk this I actually got in I think an art store somewhere in England it's a Germany Furby graphite Lyra pencil and I like the look of it because it's actually triangular so it doesn't really kind of roll around too much and once again it really doesn't have any sort of like design it's just wood and very gender neutral I really like that Midori pencils are great these are very travel friendly they have the eraser which are replaceable and then the nice handy clip on here and then these have replaceable pencils so it extends out like that so it makes it easier to write so if you actually have pencil nibs or if you are down to you know this much of your drawing pencil pencil extenders are really great this is kind of the same concept but very sleek very cool looking these would be great gifts for the men in your life or um, somebody who's just not into fussy stationary items. And then the Palomino Blackwing pencils. These are these just have a great history and story to it. I'm not going to get into it because um, I think a lot of us pretty much know what the story is behind it if you are into um, stationary. Um, but these have just, I love the history behind it. And then I love the look of it. They just look sleek. You can di get different kinds of um, lead softnesses. The erasers are uh, replaceable. They just look very sleek and just very nice on your desk for journaling, for sketching, for jotting down notes. They do have a sharpener specifically for this, actually. This right here. So it actually tells you you know here's step one and then step two so it does come with a few accoutrements that you can get with it this would make a great gift for somebody a journal in your life who just loves collecting cool stationery um, I'm just a big fan of those those look really nice and then you have erasers that you might want to use with your pencils um, these are this is my old Hello Kitty one um, that I got a l ages ago when I was a kid and um, they're just replaceable eraser um, cartridges that you can um, put in and use. And then we kind of go into some of the nicer stuff. Um, this is probably the nicest writing utensil I have, writing tool. It's my Field Notes Brands Hall um, rollerball pen that the brand collaborated with, I think the company is called Allegro, it's out of Chicago, and this is a um, pen with a wooden barrel that was made out of a building salvaged from, it was like a building that was constructed after the Chicago fire and then they reused the actual wood material into a limited edition pen. Um, it's got that nice clip on it. It's refillable, so I can get really nice cartridges for it. It's a fine tip pen. I love it. I love that it comes with its own case. So um, some of the nicer pens that you will find will actually come with its own nice case as a protector. So you can travel with it. You don't have to worry about losing it. 
I think it's really nice to, if you can, be able to invest in a really nice writing tool. In the end, if you are into journaling or if you want to really motivate yourself with writing, invest in your writing materials because it makes a difference. It makes a difference on how the pen or pencil feels in your hand. It makes a difference on how it writes. If you've ever noticed, sometimes your handwriting just looks better with certain inks or certain certain utensils. So that's something to think about is, you know, if you journal a lot, why not invest? Ask for it as a Christmas gift or a birthday gift because it'll just motivate you to journal more. It'll just make you want to journal because you'll enjoy using the materials that you have. And um, so that's that was that's my little story behind that one. Um, because in the end, this is a hobby. This is a passion. You want to get into it. And if it's just that little bit more encouragement to keep it up, I say do it. Just use the stuff that makes you happy, you know? Because um, I just, I want you to journal. I want everybody to experience just the therapeutic, um, enjoyable hobby of journaling. I think it's just great. So, Okay, enough <laughs> enough about that. Um, this is a really unique pen. I really thought this was such a thoughtful gift. Um, it was actually a Secret Santa gift from my writing teacher. And this is an LED 007 light pen. It's actually called the Director's Pen. And the reason for that is, is that it's got the clip on here. And you've got your pen, which is refillable. It's got the nice kind of rubber... Uh, grip here but what it is is and you're not going to see it because obviously it's not on um, this little clip right here will actually light this up this is supposed to be an LED light built in and so um, I, I'm assuming directors working in uh, darkness will be able to see what they're writing as the light shines through I actually have to get the battery replaced on this, but if you can find really cool, unique pens like this, this would be a, a great gift idea. This would just be great for, um, you know, a teenager in your life or somebody who is into just kind of creating that darker ambiance for writing. It's just really unique, um, and it just makes for a, a nice, fun journaling experience. Now we move into dip pens, which is, I think, one of my favorite things to use because it kind of creates that very cool, old-timey writing atmosphere. I like to have, you know, candles lit, and then I will pull out handmade paper or use handmade journal paper and my bottled inks and use dip pens. These are great because they come in all sorts of different price ranges. So you can get ones that are really affordable, two, three, four dollars. You can get kits for under ten dollars that come with different types of interchangeable nibs to get different kind of calligraphy effects and um, hand lettering. This one's um, one that I can actually pull out and change the nibs out. These I think are, but they're a little bit more difficult to adjust. But these have wood handles. This one's kind of got like a cool marbled look on it with a varnish on it. I love using these. This is one of my favorites. Ooh, I actually have to clean this one. It's very sleek looking. Just looks really cool sitting on a desk. And obviously because these are dip pens, you have your ink and you just dip. You dab a little to keep uh, get the excess off and then you just write. Um, there's a little bit more work to this obviously because it's a dip pen so you're going to have to keep dipping every few words depending on how much you're writing. But the experience is just, it's very pleasant, it's very therapeutic. Um, so if you're ever really into or looking into using these, um, it does require a few more things if you get the dip pen but I, I think if you're a, a passionate journaler, this is something to definitely try because it's just really fun and you really can't recreate that kind of experience with dipping it into ink and blotting it and all of that. So there are glass styluses. These are great. They look very beautiful. You can get handmade ones even. 
Um, this actually came in a kit that I got at Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble's great for a lot of those different kinds of calligraphy kits and such. So, um, and how it works is you can dip it in and then the swirls will actually carry the ink as you write. So, not all glass styluses are made uh, equally because depending on how the tip is, you want a nice, smooth, rounded tip because otherwise if it's a little sharp, it's going to scratch against the paper and it will rip it and it's going to cause very uneven ink distribution based on that tip because of the way it's scratching against the paper. So there's a tip for you if you're looking for something like that. These are just beautiful to look at. They're somewhat heavy, but they are very comfortable in the hand, surprisingly. So very sleek, and they look, um, they are not as breakable as you think. I mean, obviously I wouldn't slam this against the desk or anything, but if you're kind of sliding it around, it's pretty hardy, so you have that. And then there are your old-fashioned uh, feather quills. I love these. This, um, I have great memories with this one. This was a gift from my brother. Also from just, you know, a basic kit from Barnes & Noble. You can find these online as well if you just look up feather quills or quill and ink kits. And um, it's got that kind of built-in nib that you just dip in, dab, and then just keep writing. But I just, I love the look of that. It just looks really, really vintage and cool. Um... I'm going to really quickly just go over inks. Um, there are all sorts, different price ranges. Um, this is one that came in a kit, I believe, from Barnes & Noble. Um, so you, there are different like ink colors, the thickness of the ink and how it dries. Sometimes um, they'll look light on paper, different colors. Um, there's just all sorts. I would definitely do research on the different types of inks out there that are even drawing inks. I wouldn't put these into uh, fountain pens, but you can definitely use dip inks in these. These Winsor Newton um, illustrator inks or drawing inks. These are very um, cool and very affordable. All of these you can usually find online or in um, even fine art stores. So bottled inks are very accessible to anybody who wants to use, start using dip pens or quills or uh, all of that. So. I hope this kind of gives you examples of what to look for if you're interested in finding writing materials for your journal. Obviously I can't cover everything just because there are just so many different choices out there, but let me know if you have feedback or if you have your own suggestions to share with the community. Please make those comments down below. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing well. Bye!